Hello and welcome to A Word of Hope for the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I'm Father Bob Keller. This Sunday continues this incredible discourse by Jesus in the sixth chapter of John about the bread of life. Today there's a big challenge. They think that they know him and he's talking about himself as bread from heaven. He is the bread of life and he gives his body and blood. This particular gospel and the dilemma that the people are, are working with, and he's trying to convey something about how can he be bread? And how can we eat of him? It reminds me of working with my students and talking about human dignity. Interestingly, I have to use a little philosophy and I'm gonna offer that here. Um, there's the philosophy, it's using the idea of substance and accident. And what does that mean? What a human person is? Their essence is their humanity, and you could call it their soul. And their accidents are, well, it's the body, and it's not accidental. It's a very significant part of us, body and soul. But it's the soul that makes us human. It's the essence of it all. And our human dignity is formed in that essence of the soul. Jesus is talking about himself as the bread of life. And the Eucharist, which we celebrate, and which he's talking about, is a bread that's been transformed, transubstantiated, as it were. And the same thing with the wine, transubstantiated. Back to those philosophy words, substance and the accidents. The substance is really, this becomes Christ himself. And the accidents, it looks like bread, tastes like bread, looks like wine and tastes like wine, but in the sacramental gathering of all of us is together, and using the Holy Spirit that he gives to us, the Paschal Feast, it becomes him. Augustine once said that those who worthily accept him, we become him by consuming him. It doesn't become us. We become him. And so today, as we gather wherever we are and celebrate this incredible mystery of him truly being the bread of life, and that is that he has shared communion with us. That's the life. It's not the particles of gluten or something. No, it, they've been transubstantiated, transformed into his very being. We are called and invited to share that and to live into that. What a hope. And I hope it's your hope as well as mine for this weekend. God bless.